Hello and welcome to another exciting episode from Ken Training. Today's training is going to be on how to make your water heater last 20 plus years. And we're going to do it by installing this product right here, which is a powered anode rod. Now this particular one tells you right on the box that it has a 20 year warranty and it's going to eliminate that sulfur smell not just stop it but eliminate it not that i have it anyways because i'm using an aluminum anode rod rather than a magnesium anode rod and if you're unfamiliar with the anode rods what they do is it's a sacrificial rod that's meant to deteriorate and fail instead of your water heater failing most people are just lazy they don't deal with the anode rod they put the water heater in and they set it and forget it what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to remove the anode rod and inspect it or replace it now i have mine on a certain preventive maintenance schedule where i change it out every four years now this water heater i did not even do the install on this water heater was here when i purchased the house 14 or 15 years ago this water heater because i didn't do the install if i had done the install i would write down the installation date the installation date's not on here because i did not do the install but i do have the manufacturer's date and judging by the manufacturer's date which was sometime between 2004 2002 and 2004 this is 2023 so i'm going to say that this water heater is already 20 years old i've changed out the anode rod on this water heater two times so it came with the original one then i replaced one i replaced another one now this is the fourth time that i'm touching the anode rod but this time instead of me replacing it with just a generic anode rod i replaced it with this product here which is a powered anode rod it's on the water heater right now and i'll go through quickly to show you how to change that out they're not too time consuming you need a few tools but it's nothing terrible that the average diyer cannot handle so i already got 20 years on this water heater it's already 20 years old because i am a diyer i actually do things like blow the tank down and also change out the anode rod most people don't do that and most people's water heaters fail sometime around the 12 year mark and i want to get the maximum 100 percent maximum life expectancy out of this water heater and i don't want to just change it out because they're not inexpensive water heaters cost anywhere from 500 to 800 dollars depending upon which water heater you buy they can go up even higher but and then plus the installation cost now in my case i do the installation myself because i'm a diyer but if you have to hire a plumber and many people do it's going to cost you twelve hundred dollars to two thousand dollars to change out a water heater it's it's not it's not unheard of so anyways that is what this video is about so if that's what you want to learn about stay tuned i'm going to give you a great video in a short period of time and i only ask for you to do one thing for me and that is to smash that like button down for me right now and with that let's go on with the show <music> All right, so there's our vacation, our, our temperature knob. I've already set it to vacation, so we don't have to worry about the fire coming off. I've already hooked up a garden hose here to the water heater that I haven't drained any water out yet. Now, my water heater also has a recirculating water pump. If you want to see how to install one of these pumps on your water heater, check out the video right here. I got to go ahead and isolate the water to the water heater so i've already done that so i've got the inlet water here shut off i have a valve on the outlet as well i'm going to go ahead and shut the outlet off 
I've already drained some water out the bottom of the tank, so we're good there. I shut off the water from the expansion tank. We should have no pressure on the system right now, and I can pop my pressure temperature relief valve on top of the tank just to make sure everything is good. So we're totally, we're totally fine. So we're going to go ahead and start to remove the uh, existing anode rod. On my water heater, where my finger is touching, that's the anode rod right there. This is the one and a sixteenth inch socket. Put that on. I have a breaker bar here, and once it gets loose enough, I can just use the sockets. All right, so here is the existing rod after four years. Tons of cal calcium and magnesium buildup on this. You can see where it's been kind of wearing away. But I've seen these things whittle down in other videos where they get where they start off this thickness and they when they pull them out they're like the size of this so there's still a lot of meat left on this although look at this uh sac this uh the cable that connects these two pieces right here together you can see that's been chewed out there pretty good so that was getting towards the total end of life there but basically that's what it looks like uh, after being in service for four years wire brush and I'm just going to try to clean those threads up and then run a rag here inside just to try to get those threads as clean as possible. White Teflon tape and put that on, wrap it a minimum of three times, probably four times in total. And I start here in the back and when I do this, try to keep my tape flat like so and put a little tension on there after I get it started. So there's two, three, four. There's four good wraps. We'll do one more wrap here in the very back. Let's make it a little bit fatter towards the back. Okay, there's plenty of Teflon tape on this unit. Now we'll take some thread sealant and we're going to take some of this and we'll go ahead and apply that on here. All right, there we are right there. Put that down, gently feed that in. So this thing really sticks up high, interestingly enough. That should not bother me, but just making a mental note. Turn that by hand. All right, I have the new anode rod on there solidly. Let's go ahead and test for leaks. So I'll leave the shutoff valve on the water heater off for now. I'll go ahead and open up the water inlet valve. Not up 100%. I got the drain valve closed down there so we're closed right there let's let the water heater fill up all right the water heater is stopped filling there's no leaks we're 100 percent good i still have to burp the water heater let me go ahead and put the expansion tank back on <clears throat> okay that's back on okay you need to open up the discharge the uh, water hot water outlet valve from the water heater there we go and now we'll go ahead and burp the system all right so i have the uh, shower valve all the way on hot and now all the air has been purged out of the system over here first and good power is on, so we're good to go there. That's good. And the next thing that we want to do is we can plug in our circulating water pump. And that can go up here. All right, now here's our new transformer. So we have a couple of things that we need to do. We need to plug in the transformer to the power. This goes to the anode rod. And then this here is going to go to the ground on the tank. We'll do that right now. So now I'm just going to use a Phillips head screwdriver 
to plug in the ground and you'll notice that the green light is not on on the transformer but once I put this ground screw on which is just from the water heater itself everything will come into play and the green screw is telling I mean the, the green LED is telling you that you are protected with with the uh, with the new anode rod here is our completed installation with the transformer in place with the bright green light right there and then there's your powered anode rod and it is working here's our ground screw right here everything is looking good with there's no water leaks on top of the water heater just looking for any water leaks water leaks with everything that we touched all the valves are open so make sure that we're 100 percent i've labeled down here that i changed out the anode rod on 10 28 23 with the coral protect 20 year warranty and i also put their sticker on it and dated it right there by installing this coro protect powered anode rod in your water heater when it's new or fairly new then basically you don't have to worry about it for 20 years you don't have to be and do like what i was doing which was which is replacing the anode rod every four years on a preventive maintenance schedule all you need to do is install the product once set it and forget it and you don't have to worry about your water heater maintenance basically for the life of that water heater and basically if you get 20 years out of a water heater you've got a fantastic life expectancy out of that water heater anybody that gets 20 years out of a water heater is doing a good job if you're getting only 8 to 12 years out of your water heater that's disappointing I would definitely change your strategy because I would not personally want to replace a water heater every 8 to 12 years um, I'm on the 20 20 plus year program myself and you can be there too and all you have to do is just simply install one of these on your water heater I'm installing mine on a water heater that's already 20 years old and if I get another 20 years out of it that would be an absolute miracle am I going to get 20 years out of it I doubt it but whenever this particular water heater gives up the ghost and leaks I'll just simply replace it and what I'm going to do because this has a 20-year warranty is I'll take it out, out out of this water heater and put it on the new water heater if I have to replace it but I'm gonna keep milking this cow until it does not give me any more hot water so I'm just going to milk this until I get 100% maximum life expectancy out of it and that's it that is going to conclude this video I hope you've got some valuable information out of this video if you have not done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button ring that bell to be notified when I post a new video and do me a favor and smash that like button down for me right now I will see you on the flip side